Yeah, people are saying the intrigue around the, the Dillian White, Francis Ngannou thing is that they could meet in either mm-hmm. discipline and it would be almost a 50-50 fight in either or it would be intriguing in both because of the style of Ngannou, mm-hmm. the, the way that he goes about his MMA career. What do, what do you make of that potential match? I think it's a, it's a great matchup. Uh, Ngannou's not a, not a very good wrestler. He doesn't love to go to the ground much. He wants to straight up have a fight with his fists. So... I think that would be the ideal match for someone like Dillian. However, Dillian's on another level with his punches. I mean, if if Ngani thinks he hits hard, believe you me, if Dillian hits anyone with four arms gloves on, they're just going to go asleep straight away. Don't get me wrong, there's a flip side to that coin. If Ngani catches Dillian first, Dillian's going to go up like a light too. So it would literally be whoever lands first. And that's how, well, that's how explosive that fight would be. Where would you like to see it? What code? Or could you see one in MMA and one in boxing, like a kind of double header? No, it, it, it could never happen in a boxing ring. Francis Ngannou stands absolutely zero chance in a boxing ring. It, it, it's a completely different sport with a completely different set of rules, a totally different technique. Boxing is so different to MMA uh, that it really, really is. And Francis Ngannou does not stand a single hope in a boxing mm. ring whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, in, a ca- in a cage, I'd probably make it 60 40 in Ngannou's favor purely and only because he's got the experience uh, with them small gloves on that would be the only reason i would give him that slight advantage but you know as i said before dillian is such a competent fighter and is also a massively improved fighter than what we've seen he's not 18 years old anymore swinging for the lights like he was in that cage in that cage fight that i've seen he is now an established you know ready to be world champion of his own and, you know, I think, you know, he come on so much, you know, he's probably the most improved heavyweight in world boxing. I would go as far as saying that Dillian White, since he's lost to AJ, he's took on anyone and everyone and he's rebounded fantastically, he really has. So, it's someone I'd like to see, it's someone who massively deserves a shot. Uh, and someone I enjoy watching, as I say, he reminds me of old school fighters because he fights anyone, anywhere, anytime, and he just doesn't care. And, and I believe he'd go in a cage and do the exact same. But as I say, you, you, you're on a hide and to nothing if you fight any fighter who's pretty good on the floor and you're and you're good at stand up. You know, I've seen it before many a time. Uh, you're on a hide and to nothing, mate. If you face any guy who wants to just who wants to go to the ground, you've had it basically. So it's a takedown defence that's the key, isn't it? Dillian White's talked about that. I think that if you can if yes. you can thwart the thwart the shoot when they shoot on you, that you can then you mm-hmm. can go from there if you're if you're a striker in the MMA cage. It's called a sprawl, and you'd have to sprawl out. You know, you have to be effective getting up and down quickly. Uh, as I say, I've done it for for a number of years. I can do sprawls and I can get you up and down quick. But as I say, when you're in there with the big boys and like really good wrestlers, you've absolutely had it, mate. You really have. Mm. So. It's all well and good training, but there is so many different techniques. This is why I love watching it so much. You know, the likes of John Jones, he's mastered every discipline. He's a brilliant wrestler. He's fantastic with the Juvia too. His striking's pretty good. You know, everything about John Jones is he, he's probably the premier, you know, fighter in the world when it comes to UFC because he's mastered all the arts. Conor McGregor is a completely different story. Conor McGregor is, yeah. is an amazing striker. His timing is absolutely Pimp, you know, pinpoint perfect. So they all come with different things. The thing with Conor McGregor is he crosses over, and he crosses over to the general, you know, the general man and woman on the street because of his, yeah. you know, braggadocious ways and the way he carries himself and the way he forms himself. I'm his biggest fan. You know, do not knock it. I absolutely love him. I think Conor McGregor is a breath of fresh air and he's fantastic, a true pioneer of the sport. But he comes with a certain set of skills and he has his weaknesses. You know, his weakness is on the floor. Uh, with someone like a John Jones, he doesn't have any weaknesses that I've seen. Uh, mm. I've seen him probably in the greatest fight UFC he's ever seen against Alexander Gustafsson, uh, and he was just fantastic. So even even in, even in a, an absolute fifty fifty fight where he goes all the way, he was still brilliant, mate. Uh, and I just I don't know how you would beat someone like John Jones if you're in the UFC. Yeah, it's talk of Engano meeting John Jones, isn't there? At some point, there's been a negotiation. Yeah. What would you make of of that prospect if? Obviously, if Jones went up, uh, yeah, it's 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 interesting, but I just don't think I, I don't think John Jones would be stupid enough to stand with Ngarno. So he would just basically mm. it would not surprise me. I've seen Anderson Silva do it many times. I've seen the likes of uh, 
does a, a fantastic light heavyweight. But uh, Damian Meyer, uh, I've seen you know so many fights over the years. They were fantastic jujitsu guys, and the, I'm not, I've seen it happen. They get on the start of the fight goes, the first bell goes, and they lie on the back, and they won't get up, and they say, <laughs> "Come to me," and they, you know it's like, "Come to my world." If John Jones lies on his back and says to Ngannou, "Come and get me," Ngannou's had it, mate. He will tie him yeah. in knots. I'm pretty sure. Uh, and also, John Jones got very, very good with his legs, you know. So, yeah, I say Angani has a puncher's chance <clears throat> against absolutely anybody. But do, would I fancy him against John Jones? Absolutely not. No. So you picked Dillian White in the boxing ring and Ngano in the in the in the cage. You think just about well, maybe <clears throat> give Dillian a chance. I, I, no, I give Dillian every chance in a cage. I, I mean, it's easy picking in a boxing match. It, it's really, it's it's easy. It's a one side down and beaten. In a cage, I make Ngarni favourite, yes. But, I, it, you know, I, I give Dillian the greatest chance of any other boxer going in a cage and winning. I would I would make Ngarni 60-40 favourite. 